Hi there, Tanya Van here with Tanya's Bling, and today I'm all natural. I got the natural curls going. It's all shrunk up, <laughs> and it's pulled up. It's really quite big, <laughs> but um, I wanted to hop on, and uh, this is going to be a boring video. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> But it is uh, important and it's something that you may be just, you know, interested in and wondering about. And this is going to be about moving to the next level, ranking up. So I started with paparazzi and my first month I ranked up to director. Um, and then from there I ranked up uh, the next, I think it took me like a couple months. And then I ranked up again. Um... And then within, I think like seven months, I hit, um, what am I now? Executive director. Yeah. So um, I'm just going to walk through the different ranks in case you're interested and, you know, want to know how to rank up. Um, if you just stumbled on my video and you don't know what paparazzi is, where have you been? But <laughs> I will say this is all paparazzi jewelry I'm wearing. So these awesome earrings are paparazzi. I have on two necklaces. My mom didn't like it, but I thought it was cute. So these two awesome seed bead necklaces. Um, I'm supposed to be at Empower Me Pink today, so I was trying to wear the paparazzi colors, um, but I couldn't leave from working. It was a horribly busy day for work today so I couldn't make it but um yeah this is I don't know about this <laughs> I feel like it's kind of crazy looking no no let me know what you guys think my mom didn't like this either too much but I did get a compliment when I went to uh go pick my daughter up from um her after school program so I guess you know some people like it and some people won't what can you do Anyways, um, my gorgeous rings are all paparazzi, these beautiful wrap bracelets, and these awesome bangle, well it's bangle, this is like stretchy, gorgeous jewelry, and everything is only five bucks. Can you believe that? So um, yeah, I wish you could see my whole outfit. It's actually kind of cute. I'm kind of feeling myself a little bit, even with the natural. <laughs> Look at you like my shirt and then I have on these cute boots. <laughs> so, um I don't know what I'm doing. All right, here. I'm going to talk about ranking up. So, here we go. So, um everything and and I have like a kind of cheat sheet, so bear with me. But everything with paparazzi, uh it's based off of points. So, it's not really about how much you sell. It's about how many points you accumulate, and it's your personal volume as well as your team's volume, which is your organizational volume. And for every item that you buy or someone else buys through your website, you get two, um, for every $5 item, you get two um, PV or personal volume or points. And, um, and then you get more for like the Z or you you don't get any at all for Starlet Shimmer which is the little girls um, jewelry so keep that in mind you also don't get any for any of the back off or the paparazzi boutique items like um, you know just stuff for marketing your business and stuff like that so keep that in mind as well I may have to remake this video I don't know about this I'm sorry you guys it's distracting me though it's like ew I don't like the shape Oh, oh well. All right, so let's see here. Let, let's go through the points. Um, so I'm just skipping over some of this stuff that I don't really need to get into because it's kind of like, let's worry about that when we get to that. <laughs> um, and I have this document. It's called Moving to the Next Level. I got it from my upline. Shout out to Tara. Uh, she may have got it from her upline. I don't know. Um, but it has, it's great. It has all the different um, meanings behind like the personal volume, the organizational volume, um, the one third rule when you're 
going from direct director to jet setter during those steps, um, the unilevel bonus, the business building bonus, which I've been wondering what that is, <laughs> the generation bonus, um, the legacy bonus, the infinity, infinity bonus. I don't even know what this stuff is. <laughs> um, and so that's all on here. And if anyone would like a copy of this document, let me know and I can get it to you. I'm trying to think though, because I don't want to overpromise and under deliver. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just let me know and I'll get it to you. I can't think of any easier way to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. This is telling you, I'm just going to scroll down to director. Okay. So for a director, you will earn 10% from your level one, unilevel one, which are the people directly under you that signed up. Uh, you signed them up. You earn 10% of their vo monthly volume and 5% uh, for your level two. So anyone that your level one signed up, the they're your level two and you earn 5% of theirs. Um, to become director, you have to have three or more personally sponsored active consultants within the calendar month. So if you sign someone up and then you signed another person up and then you didn't sign anyone up and then the next month you signed up a third person, but one of your other two, they weren't active, meaning they did not buy at least uh, 25 pieces of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> which is not hard to do um, if you didn't have if they didn't do that then you still only have two active consultants so you need another a third one or you need to get your other consultant who isn't active to be active you know just see what's going on maybe they could just do like a posting party and get some website sales going. Um, I just did that last week. I looked at the new releases that hit and I picked you know, all the stuff that I thought was the cutest that was on my website and I posted and I was like, comment want it if you want it and I will add it to my order tonight. And I sold probably 20 pieces doing that. So, I mean, that person could almost be active or really they probably could. I mean, I didn't post everything. I could have posted more pictures and probably sold more. So um, someone could literally become active just doing something like that. Uh, so uh, to be director, you have to have those three. And then um, to be considered active, you have to have at least 50 PV. That's why I said 25 pieces of jewelry, of $5 jewelry is 50 PV because each piece is two PV. All right, um, this is a little suggestion on how to hit director. And I like how they do this. So they have on here, um, open your mouth everywhere you go. Tell everyone about the opportunity. Does anyone do that? I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> but I bet if you did, you would hit, hit your rank. <laughs> Um, sit down with two pieces of paper, label one paper as opportunity and the other as parties. Anyone that comes to mind, write their name down on one paper or both. Remember, do not discredit anyone. The person you think that will be the most interested may not be, but the person you think won't be interested at the time will. <laughs> so anyways, this is basically in a nutshell just telling you to think of who might want to do a party because that's points that you're earning. Um, and also when you do parties, more people are getting exposed to you and to your jewelry and they may want to sign up. Um, or also think of who may want to, to be a rep. And it says, um, it says, uh, call or text each person saying, do you know anyone who would like to earn extra money? I mean, that's a great lead in question because who's going to say no? No, I don't want to earn any extra money, right? Um, or do you know anyone who would like to earn free jewelry? Um, and that's pretty much it for that. And then, you know, it's, it's really not hard to hit director. 
if you just give it some effort, you know. Um, and you don't want to like be salesy and you don't want to over, you know, like shove it down someone's throat. Because to be honest, like if they don't see the value in it and have the drive and the want and just want to do it, then they're probably not going to be active on your team or, you know, add much value to your team anyway. Um, so that's my thought at least. All right, so next to rank to premier director, which is the next rank, um, for that you have to have 3,000 OV, meaning your organization or your team volume, not including yours, has to be 3,000. Um, I remember when I was about to hit premier director and I was like, I think I was maybe like, I know it was less than 200. It, well, I think it was like 100 and something um, OV short. And so that would be like 200 pieces of jewelry, which I don't think it was that much. It must have been like, oh, that would be 50 pieces of jewelry. Sorry. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'll just place a big order so I can hit Premier Director. It'll be worth it. And then it was like, oh, no, my order does not even count towards this. It's literally just your team because you're getting promoted for growing your team and helping your team do well. So, um, that is why it's just based off of that. So you have to have 3000 OV, meaning your team sold 1500 pieces of jewelry for the month. It sounds like impossible, probably for some of us, especially newer reps, but honestly, it's not really as hard as you think it would be. And this is um, telling you too what you'll earn as premier director. So it says you will earn 10% from your level one. 5% from your level two and 5% from your level three. So you get paid off of the people that you sign up, the people that they sign up and the people that they sign up. That's pretty amazing. Um, so if your team is doing well with uh, kind of following what you do and getting people signed up, you could do really well, um, you know, uh, with growing your team and getting a great commission check. And so this commission check is what you get. Um, it's calculated every month, like around the 10th, is when you can see it in your back office of how much you're getting. And um, the payout is around, I don't know, the end of the month, uh, like the 22nd, I think. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so you need 3,000 OV, which equals 1,500. Oh, I already said that. And um, so yeah, and it's what's purchased, not sold. I mean, hopefully you're selling it, but I'm just saying <laughs> that is what it's based off of, is the volume of what the purchases are. And it includes website sales. All right, so then the one third rule starts coming into play here. What that means is only you have legs, right? So each person, if you have three active people on your team, for example, those are three legs. Okay, just think of it as three legs. Each person is a leg and they're people that they have signed up, their organization. That is a leg for you. I think that's right. And so um, each leg, you cannot have one of those legs over 1000 OV. So if I have Jenea, Misty, and Michelle, um, and Jenea is got like she's got two two thousand OV on her team. Her volume is two thousand. Misty has five hundred, and Michelle has five hundred. That's three thousand right there. So it's like, ooh yeah, I'm premier director. Uh, no, because Jenea has two thousand goody two shoes. That's awesome for her and her team <laughs> and everything. Um, and it is good for you too because you get commission but it's not helping you rank um, because only you can only count a thousand of her um, volume so it would be a thousand of hers and then if Misty had a thousand and then if Michelle had a thousand you're good to go now what I found is really I needed to continue growing my team in order to hit premier director because that's a lot to expect someone to, to have that much volume in one month. Um, you know, if you only have three people, that's like I said, like a thousand each. And that's a lot. <laughs> so, um, I mean, some people can do it, but 
yeah, it's, I don't know if, you know, that's, that's not common. Um, so I just really focused on continually growing, um, my, sorry, my team and adding people to it. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think once I hit premier director, I don't know how many total I had, but, um, I definitely had, it was probably over 10, uh, but my team, because we were all so brand new, um, you know, we didn't have like really high volume yet, or we were still just learning to be honest. Um, because I, I hit premier director within, I think like my first three or four months. So, um, yeah, that's what the one third rule means. Um, and then, da -da 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 -da. all right, that's it for that. And then here's a couple ways of, um, hitting premier director. So it says you could have 10, see, 10 team members do one party a week for four weeks. Um, challenge your team members to do one party a week for four weeks. And that will help you to hit, um, hit your rank because it says this will be a total of four parties in a month. Four. Huh? Wait. I'm sorry, guys. Let me read it again. All right, so it says, have 10 team members do one party a week for four weeks. Challenge your team members to do one party a week for four weeks. If they can't do a party challenge, then if they can't do a party, challenge them to find eight to 10 people to sell jewelry to every week, like in your VIP group. Um, this will be a total of four parties in a month and will be profiting an additional $350 a month. That's for the individual reps. Like if you're, you know, trying to help them understand the benefit of doing it, that's what that is saying. Uh, four parties a month and they would profit additional $360 a month, which I definitely make more than that when I go live. Usually I do at least $200 just one party or one time I go live. Um, and if you were doing four, then I'm probably going to hit almost $1,000 for that month. In, in my retail profit. That's not my commission. All right. Um, have five, or and here's another thing you could do. Have five team members do two parties a week for four weeks. So if you have five team members and each of them do two parties a week for a month, you'll most likely hit director, I mean, premier director. Um, and it says to... Um, for them, this would be a total of eight parties that they would do by the end of the month and will make an additional $720 or more. Um, all right. And then, um, cause if you're doing 200 per party, that's, it could be as much as $1,600. Yeah. All right. Um, your team should do 40 parties in the month that are at least $200 parties or higher which means that your total sales for that party was $200 at least. And your total team should have 40 of them in a month. Um, so that would be selling 80 PV, 40 pieces or more for that party. So to have a $200 party, you need to sell 40 pieces of jewelry or more. I usually sell 50 to 60 pieces easily. So, um, yeah. And so this says... Uh, then they replenish the 80 PV or 40 pieces after their parties to keep their inventory stocked. All right, so it says if they are not personally sponsored, meaning they signed up directly under you, if they're not that, then you'll need them in different team legs so you are not lopsided with the one-third rule. So, yeah, you want to just make sure you remember that you can't have more than a 1,000 on one leg. So... If Jenea has a team, her team can only have a thousand towards my OV. I never had that problem, actually, but I guess you could, though. I know my upline has. I've heard her talk about, like, oh, you're maxed out or whatever. So, all right. Um, you also, here's another way you could hit. And this is a big way of how I ranked up was adding people to my team. Um, you could add 13 people to your team with the small home party kit, the $2.99 kit, 
and um, they don't even have to all be personally sponsored under you. If they're not personally sponsored under you, just make sure it's different legs and it's not just one person adding a whole bunch of people on their team. You want to spread the love or have them all doing, you know, adding people. But also, this is big on what I did was just adding people myself. And because, um, again, my team was still kind of new, so they weren't necessarily getting a whole bunch of people to sign up yet. Um, so I was just getting a lot of people myself. Um, so that's another way. Uh, so let's see, you could sign up five people with two ninety nine dollars kits. So each of those five people buying a two ninety nine dollars kit. And also in addition to that, have 23 parties for your team that are $200 parties. Um, and the, it needs to, again, be evenly distributed so there's no you know, lopsidedness. That's pretty amazing. Just sign up five people that are buying the $299 kit and then amongst your team, everybody focus on doing um, a party a week. That's almost your 23 parties right there for the month. So that is definitely, and remember, these are not your parties because your volume doesn't count towards the OV. But when you add, when you sign up new reps, their volume counts to your OV. So that's why when you sign up new reps, it helps you hit the next rank. Um, so yeah. All right, and then you could sign up five people with a $99 kit because we all know that's usually easier to get people to do the $99 kit. So five people doing the $99 kit and then you would just need to have 29 parties, your team, instead of 23. That's still not too bad. Um, or you could sign up four people with the $4.99 kit, which that's what I, when I signed up, I got the $4.99 kit. Um, the person who signed up with me on my team, she signed up the same day I did. Um, shout out to Misty. She got the $4.99 kit too. And then Jenea, who signed up not long after on my team, she also got the $4.99 kit. So I'm like, oh, $4.99 kit. <laughs> um, and then I got smacked with reality. Like, everybody cannot do the $4.99 kit. <laughs> So yeah, you just, um, if you can get four people who sign up with the $4.99 kit, then um, you do that. And then if you have 18 parties amongst everybody on your team um, that are $200 parties, you'll hit Premier Director. It sounds doable, right? All right, so let me see what is this little chart here. Um, it's just kind of a little chart that shows you what I was talking about. Let me see, 2,000, 3,000. So this is 4,000, so 1, 2,000. Yeah, so this example may be backwards, and I really can't even, let me unplug my phone. Um, yeah, I think it might be backwards, but if you could see there, it's showing these are the people signed up under you. So this one has 2,000, 1,500, and 500. So um, that's what that's showing you. And it's they're getting that OV based on the people on their team. It's the whole organization's volume, not just that one person. And so it's basically saying that um, you can add legs together to hit rank. Like, I don't know if you guys can even see this. Like the two 500 legs, you can add those together. That's a thousand right there. That's another thousand. So that's 1,000, 2,000. But here's the problem is this one has 2,000. So you can, oh, but you're still good because you can count 1,000 of that 2,000. It's okay. You can count it. You just have to stop counting at 1,000. So that's going to be 1,000 there, 1,000 there. So that's 1, 2,000. And then these two added together is another thousand, so that's three thousand. So that person would hit their um, director if that's what they were trying to to achieve. All right, so that was premier director. Next, we're going to talk about executive director. For executive director, you have to hit, have six thousand OV, and um, this is the this is what I'm at right now as executive director. And I've been with paparazzi um, not even a year yet. Um, it's been 10 months, I think. Um, and, you know, I have a lot of other things going on. So, um, I mean, I definitely 
do well and work the business and help my team and support my team. And I have a lot of, of ways of working smarter and not hard, harder. Um, sorry, you guys are going to see me play with this throughout the video. So just deal with it. Don't be mad or don't get irritated. I'm sorry. Cause yeah, it's just, I'm going to keep doing that probably. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So, um, that's where I'm at. And yeah, I hit it. I hit executive director within seven months and I've kind of been lingering here. Um, you know, so I'm thinking I'll hit the next to rank, which is producer, because I have had a lot of people get added to my team and on, either through me or others on my team. My team is like on fire now. I'm like, yes, I'm not the only one signing people up. I mean, I had a couple others like Misty and Janae signing people up. But then it was like no one else was really quite there yet. And now they all are. And I'm so excited and proud of them. And it's just fun. So we've signed up a lot of people. So I will probably end up hitting uh, the next rank or ranking up, um, which is producer, I would say in the next maybe two months at the most, probably month. All right. So executive director, you have to have 6,000 OV for your team. Um, and with executive director, you get paid 10% from your people level one, people signed up right under you, um, 5% for the people signed under them, your level two. 5% for the people under them, level three, and 1% from your generation one, which I don't know what generation one means. I've been wondering, what does that mean? Does it, let me see if it says that on here. Um, and this is my rank, so I don't even really know what I get. <laughs> um, all right, so it says, oh, okay. So for generation, it says generation is... I'm sorry, I just lost it when I flipped my screen. As you begin to develop strong leadership within your team, meaning the people on your team become leaders, and I'm, I'm at that point now, um, and qualify as an executive director or higher, you can earn an additional bonus up to three generations of your organization. A generation begins at every executive director or higher and includes all consultants down to and including the next executive director or higher. I'm trying to put this into real life. So I don't have any executive directors under me yet. I mean, I'm an executive director. Um, I don't have anyone else. Misty probably could be one. She signed up the same day I did, but she hasn't hit that yet. Um, but I'm sure we'll have some soon, definitely. And so... Um, I'm trying to think with Tara. Okay, so I'm on my upline Tara's team and I am an executive director. So this is saying you get an additional bonus on up to three generations of your organization. So I would be a generation because I'm an executive director. So she gets, I guess this is like 1% of my whole organization. Maybe that's what that is. I need to learn that. I'm sorry, I can't be better, be of better help with you on this one. A generation begins at every executive director or higher and includes all consultants down to including the next executive director or higher. I think that's what that means. And since I don't have any other executive directors, it would be everybody. I'm not sure. I don't want to mislead you guys. So I'm not sure, but I get 1% of that, whatever. The, oh, excuse me. Hmm, sorry. <laughs> Whatever that is, I get 1%. So that's good. I need to ask Tara what that is. I'm sure she knows. All right. Um, let's see here. Um, and if someone else is watching and you know what that is, feel free to type it in the comments. I welcome that. All right. So to hit executive director, like I said, it takes 6,000 OV. That's 3,000 pieces purchased from your team. Um, but now that we have the Z collection, it really doesn't take that much as much, um, because the Z you get a lot, you know, you get more, uh, PV per piece. I want to say 11 PV. Is that right? It's more. So, um, it doesn't take quite as much if you're selling Z pieces. Um, 
So with this, the one third rule means that you can only count 2,000 OV per leg. So instead of it being 1,000, now it's 2,000. And um, this is giving seven different ways to qualify. So have 19 team members, which I have on my, I have 23 people signed up directly under me. Um, and then I'm up to 60 three people on my team total <laughs> um, but this is saying have 19 team members because you know not everyone's always going to be active sadly but it's true so um, if everyone's not active you know it, it could if you only have 19 total and they're not all active then it may be hard to hit the rank but if you have 40 people on your team and you have at least 20 that are active then this is doable um, have 19 team members do one party a week for four weeks. That's not bad. Hmm, that's not bad. Okay. Challenge your team members to do one party a week for four weeks. If they can't do a party challenge, if they can't do a party challenge, them to find a, oh, it's that same thing. I'm not going to read it again. All right. Um, you could have 10 team members do two parties a week for four weeks. Wow. This isn't too bad. Um, your team needs to do 75 parties in the month that are at least 200 parties or higher, um, $200 parties or higher in order for you to hit rank or rank up. Um, if you need to add 25 people to your team with the small home party kit, the 299 kit, if you do that, then, and they're not all, or they can all be personally sponsored or if they're not all personally sponsored just make sure they're not all on one leg or whatever you know spread it out or not it's not like you have a choice of but it has to be spread out I'll say it that way um, so yeah if you add 25 people in that month then there you go <laughs> um, parties and new team so you could sign five people up with the 299 kit and then have 23 parties that are $200 um, or more and you would hit parties uh, you could sign five people up with a $99 kit and then 29 parties so it just kind of follows the same thing that's interesting hmm is that right am I on the right one executive director okay hmm. and then sign four people up with the 499 kit and have 18 parties that are $200 parties I don't see how that equals the same um, as the, I just said those same things for getting to, getting to, oh, did I already do this one? No, yeah, I just said those same things for getting to Premier Director, which was 3,000 OV. How can it be the exact same to hit 6,000 OV with Executive Director? Hmm. No, that's what it says here. So, parties in. I'm not sure if that is right. Well, that's what it says. I'm probably misreading that. Again, if you want the document, I can give you the document and you can break it down and I'm sure figure it out better than what I may be doing at this point. Um, the more you sign up, the more OV you're going to have. Just keep that in mind. Or the more your team members sign up, the more OV. And that's really been what how I've ranked up a lot. Um, next is producer, which I'm not going to go over this. This is my next rank. Producer, I am going to do this one. This is going to be my last one. Once you hit producer, you become elite. Is that right? Or is it executive producer? No, I think it's producer. You become elite which there's like some benefits of being an elite. <laughs> so I'm really wanting to be producer. Um, that is 12,000 OV. And with producer, you'll earn 10,000 from your level one peeps, <laughs> 5,000 from level two. I mean, I'm sorry, 10% from your level one, 5% from level two, 5% from level three, and 3% 3 for your generation one. I got to learn what this generation one is. Um, I'm going to come back with a new video and explain that. And um, 
the one third rule becomes you can only count 4,000 OV per leg. So some of the different ways they say to qualify is create leaders in your downline. Teach at least four of your team members how to hit premier director and work with them to hit rank. And that if you get four team members to hit premier director, that means they have 3000 OV because you have to have 3000 OV to hit premier director and 3000 OV times four people equals 12,000 OV. And now you've hit producer. What? I think I can do that. <laughs> All right. Um, have 38 team members do one party a week for four weeks. I could do that. I could have a challenge and say, hey, let's do this. And I'll hit producer this month. If I don't hit producer this month, I'm going to do this next month. And then I'll let you guys know if I hit producer. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Have 19 team members do two parties a week. That's doable as well for four weeks. Um, and then, um, then it goes on to, which I'm not gonna go over these, but premier producer is after that. Um, and then is executive producer and then fashionista. <laughs> And then there's higher levels, but they don't have them on here. Um, so anyways, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying, you guys. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> um, but again, if you do want this, this document, let me know. Um, just put it in the comments. And um, if you can in, like message me your email address, that would be great. And I can email it to you. Or just email me at... Um, Either you can email me at tanya at tanyasbling.com or tanyasblingit at gmail.com. Either one. And then I'll reply and I'll send you the document. All right, guys. I've been on here way too long. I'm so sorry. Thank you for staying on. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope it was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any other questions or needed anything else. Other than that, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, bling on. Bye.